Hey guys, get ready with me. Um, I'm debating if I should like curl my hair because I don't know. I think I'm just gonna leave it because I'm washing my hair tonight anyways. Also, I got like new earrings yesterday and I think they're so cute. I got this one. They're like a little like, I don't know, cross. And then this one's like that. It's like a Van Cleef dupe. This one kind of looks like chrome hearts. Okay, I switched out one ear. I didn't put the clover one on my other ear because my other ear kind of like hurts right now so I don't want to like touch it. Also, don't mind the stain on my sweatshirt. Like, look, that's like an oil stain so it won't come off. I've washed it so many times but it's just there but it's fine. Also, I've been like non-stop playing with slime recently. I have like a new obsession. I used to be obsessed with slime when I was in grade 7 and the obsession has come back. This is the one I play with. I got this in Seattle. Um, it's my only slime. I kind of want to get more. I don't want to get more. So let me know some good slime shops because it's so satisfying playing with them. Also, I'm getting my nails done tomorrow and I don't really know what to get. I want to do something really like natural and simple. The last time I got my nails done, I got like just plain white French tip and I kind of just want to do like a neutral color. Either like something very neutral, just like one color or another French tip that's a different color. Or I could do like a design. I don't know, I don't really feel like doing a design this time, but we'll see. I have some like inspo from Pinterest, but I don't know, I'm just not really loving like what I see. I think this is so satisfying. Like, oh, I'm getting it all messed up. Anyways, um, I'm going ice skating, by the way. I don't know if I said that yet. I'm going ice skating again with my friend because it was really fun the last time we went. So we're going to go again. And then after that, I think we're going to go um, to the night market like like later tonight because it's more fun later. I just realized I lost like four lashes last night when I was sleeping. But it's fine. I'm going to let them all like fall off because I want to start doing mascara again. Okay, I'm gonna use my cream, ah, my cream bronzer from Fenty today. I'm using my cream blush to go with it too. Also, I've been watching all the Barbie movies like the past like four days. And my favorite ones are Barbie and the Charm School one and then A Fairy Secret. Those two are my favorite. The Fairy Secret one is so funny and then the Charm School one has been my favorite since I was like 12. I've also been watching The Summer I Turned Pretty. I don't have Prime, so I watch it on this, like, random website. The Summer I Turned Pretty is pretty good so far. The fourth episode, no, the fifth one that came out yesterday was kind of boring. Like, I fell asleep watching it. <laughs> but it's still pretty good overall. Using my Refi lip gloss. Bye. Bye, guys. Okay, how are we doing, you guys? Morning, we went and worked out. I did a 45-minute Peloton ride. Then I tanned outside for a little bit, so that's what this is. Now we're gonna shower and get ready. Tonight's Friday night, so we're gonna do like a little date night. Honestly, Zach and I's favorite date night is like staying in and playing zombies or watching Mission Impossible. So that is our date night tonight. We might get food. Also, some of you guys were asking about test driving cars. It went so well yesterday. It's kind of insane how nice cars are. Like getting into these new cars, it's like a spaceship. I didn't even know that that stuff existed. And I was also so nervous to test drive. I'm like, what if like someone hits me right now? I was like overly using my blinker. Probably thought I was crazy. But anyways, first we're gonna hop in the shower and do like a quick little body shower. I always feel like a new woman after I brush my teeth. Now we're doing skincare. I feel nice. I'm currently all out of my vitamin C serums. I'm thinking the drunk elephant one, but let me know which one you guys recommend. Okay, now we're gonna go pick out a comfy date night outfit. I have no clue what I'm gonna wear. Probably like, probably some sort of like sweat set. Even though we're staying in, I still wanna feel like a little bit cute. We're gonna do these Aritzia sweatshorts with this Mad Happy sweatshirt. This is like the comfiest sweatshirt ever. Even though these literally cost you an arm and a leg, the quality is so good. This honestly reminds me of all my study outfits. Okay, we have the fit on. Very comfortable. Honestly, the skincare headband looks really cute with it. Should I leave it on? Do I leave the skincare head? Wait, I have really cute headbands. Hold on. Do do like a little berries? Or we could do this pink one. Or I do have this blue one. Wait, the blue could be cute. We're gonna try the blue. I'm gonna make like a face every time I put a headband on. Okay, this is cute. See, accessories always make a comfy outfit 10 times cuter. 
Okay, lastly, we're gonna brush up the eyebrows and then curl the eyelashes. This is my new favorite eyelash curler from Tweezerman. Got a new perfume. Honestly, this headband is hiding the greasy hair very well. We're not gonna look at the back. From the front, it looks really good. Okay, we're all ready for our little date night at home. We're gonna head downstairs and run some zombies. But I love you guys so much, and I hope you have a good Friday night. Hey guys, get ready with me when I tell you what happened last night. Okay, right now I'm just getting ready for dinner. Also, we're outside, so it's like really, really loud. But last night, um, I mean like yesterday was our first day here at the beach. And um, it was like, what time was it? Okay, so last night it was like around mm -hmm. 11 o'clock. What? My setting spray. I can't find I it. I put it in the drawer. I don't I have it. I just checked the drawer. Oh, I don't have it. But anyway, so yesterday it was like around 11 o'clock at night, and we we're just walking around our like resort, like outside. And these boys with like a golf cart started honking on us, and they were like, Do you want to ride? And we we're like, Yeah. So they took us like on the beach. Okay, this was. At like 11 30 that the, we actually went out but they made us like go to their room they're like super creepy okay so they made us go to like their room and they were like you guys want to come in and we're like um no and then they like literally dragged us in there i don't know why they were being like so weird but they were just so weird they were like almost like a whole year younger than us how old were they kind of young okay they were, i don't know how old they were i think they're like 15 maybe i don't know but then there were like three 18 year olds there. And then they gave us the golf cart. They were like, do you guys want to drive? So me and her, she drove like all the way down that way on the beach to the very end. And then I drove down that way. Um, yeah, and then whenever like they would drive, they almost crashed it. So we're like, you can literally not drive this. Like we're gonna crash, we're terrified to drive with them. So they were just like, okay, fine. You can drive, whatever. So we drove. Um, and then they told me, like, he, I was driving, I was like, yeah, and then the guy that I was sitting next to, he, like, took the wheel and, like, turned it so hard, and he made us park in some, like, weird spot, and I was like, what is this? I was like, he's like, oh, let me take over, and he, like, shoved me out the way, so, like, he made me switch seats with him, so he made me, like, jump over his lap to switch seats with him back into the passenger seat. I have no clue why, um, it was kind of like weird and then they took us to these rocks and I was like really scared I was like, what are you doing? And they're like, we're gonna throw you off and I was like, are you joking? And they were like, yeah And I was like, you didn't seem like you were joking like who says something like that and I was like, okay We're going back. So because I was like terrified I got in the car Like uh, the golf cart and I drove it out because I was like, I don't want you driving Okay, so we wanted to be back by like two three But we wanted to be back by our own like by ourselves because the hot tub at this resort literally doesn't close until like 2 a.m. in the morning it's insane so that's what we were gonna do and then they came along and just like i don't know like kidnapped us i guess not really i'm being dramatic so we literally didn't even get back until like 2 a.m and we were like terrified and they were trying to like i don't know they took us okay so when i drove that way he turned the wheel again and he made us like park at this like little tv bar which is open 24 7 so we went there for lunch yesterday so yeah, they took us there and we were literally in bikinis, like just our bikinis because we were at the pool when they like kind of came up to us. Or we were like, do you want to hang out at the hot tub? And they were like, yeah, so, well, let me start over because I didn't explain it well. So basically we're walking around, they honk at us, they're like, you want to ride? And we're like, yeah, sure. But then we we're like, well, we're going to go to the hot tub first. So they met us there and then they convinced us to just like stay out of the hot, I forgot my setting powder. Okay, they convinced us to stay just like at the hot tub they were like okay let's go for a ride on the beach so we went with them and then i already explained everything that happened after that but they took us to like the tiki bar or they kind of forced us to the tiki bar um and they made us go in it's like a whole bar and they were like buy us a drink and we were like we can't buy you a drink we're not 21 and they were like who cares just like steal us a drink i was like what like i don't know why they wanted us to steal it like i mean sure but not for you like we don't steal stuff we can, we're perfectly capable of getting it ourselves. So then we're like, okay, this is like weird, we're leaving. So then he's like, I'm driving back. And I was like, you know what, whatever at this point. Cause we, yeah, we ended up getting the drinks at the bar. Cause we met these like really cool people. And they're like, you guys want some? And we're like, yeah, sure. Don't worry, we were responsible. We remember what happened last night. Okay, I don't know if I saw this cause I really did clips, but like the whole time we're driving, they were just like, smoking and yeah they were like literally out of their minds they were going crazy they were like seeing things and we're like what like 
that's why we were like literally terrified because they didn't even probably know what they were saying. So it was just really weird. So yeah, it was a fun experience and it was only our first night and we plan to have fun tonight as well. We'll get back from dinner around what time? Like eight? No, like nine. We'll get back from dinner around nine and then we'll go to the pool and meet more people because we don't get our golf cart because we're going to get a golf cart but we don't get it until tomorrow morning. And yeah, and also like in this place, you're not supposed to drive. We're in Corte right now. You're not supposed to, okay, it's so loud. You're not supposed to drive past the traffic lights down there. So like the only place we can really drive is like the gift shops. But yeah, as soon as we get our golf cart, we're leaving. Cause we're here with my parents. Cause we obviously can't go to a hotel alone at this age. And I know, but don't worry guys, last time we were responsible and I don't recommend drinking at all. But anyways, I know my limits and yeah, don't get mad at me because I know everyone does it. Okay, bye guys, that's it. Um, have fun this summer. Get ready with me to go out to brunch. I love when my friends ask me for like makeup or clothes or nails advice. Like sending a picture of an outfit or pictures of nails that they might want to get, asking if they're cute. I don't know, it just makes me so happy. So anyway, I'm actually going to brunch with one of like my fourth grade best friends. I literally haven't seen her since she moved away in fourth grade. I'm actually really hoping she didn't turn into like a mean high school girl. Like, she probably didn't, but then again, I literally have not talked to this girl in, like, six years. Which is actually kind of weird, because we were so close in elementary school, and it's a little weird to me that we didn't keep touch. Actually, maybe not really, because we were in fourth grade and had no way of communicating with each other. And then I guess maybe it would have been kind of weird if, out of nowhere, she was just like, Hey, remember me? So I'm actually kind of interested to see how this goes. Like, I don't know if it's gonna be weird or not. But I'm, like, a huge believer in holding on to people in your life. Like, I don't really burn bridges unless I need to. I didn't used to live that way, but now I try not to let people out of my life unless they're, like, negatively impacting me. Also, I went to the mall yesterday, so I'll give you guys a haul later. I'm just doing a little bit of lipstick, even though it's gonna come off, because we're gonna be, like, drinking, drinking coffee. This is the brunch fit. Bye, guys. This one's for all my single guys and girlies. I need to put you on this new dating app called Marshmallow. I've been on dating apps before and I've been a victim of fraud. I've been scammed and I've been catfished. This app basically prevents this by using government verified ID to verify your dating profile, which basically means no one can lie about their age, no one can lie about their name, and no one can upload any fake photos, preventing you from getting catfished. This is also the technology that major bank companies use to prevent identity fraud. Marshmallow also check every major sex offenders list, and there's over 300 just to make sure that over 700 thousand sex offenders cannot get on this app why are there that many another really cool feature they have is that when you message someone for the first time you can only send one message this prevents harassment and if you don't want to speak to someone you don't have to and they're not going to keep going this is definitely the safest new dating app out there and with ai and modern technology we kind of need it so if you want to find out more about the marshmallow dating app click the link in my bio what are you waiting for